there, I'm Chris with Wake Switches Consoles and I'm out here on the Malibu today to introduce you to the Wake Switches Control Tablet and uh, let's go ahead and explore some of the great features that it has to offer. If you've been having touchscreen delamination issues and losing that touchscreen sensitivity, this is the most affordable replacement option on the market and it really is an upgrade over the OEM screen. It has an 8 inch screen it's high definition with 30% larger viewing area. It also has LTE connectivity, so if you'd like you can put it on a cellular plan and stream media apps like Spotify and Pandora. Alternatively, you can pair it to your phone's Wi-Fi hotspot for streaming. In terms of installation, I'll show you that in a second here, but it's just completely plug and play. The installation process is going to take 5 minutes or less and you'll only need a ratchet with an eight millimeter socket. All right, so let's go ahead and remove our MTC touchscreen. You can see it's very well progressed in the delamination here. And uh, this one's very unresponsive to touch. So it definitely needs to be replaced. I've already gone ahead and removed the bracket and the nuts uh, from the back side of it. So all I have to do is pull it forward to remove it. And I've tilted the steering wheel up uh, to make it a, a little more accessible and easier to slide out. So just rotate it a bit. Next thing we'll do is just unclip the connector and remove the cable from the back of the touchscreen. <clears throat> now we can set that aside. And we'll grab our Wake Switches console tablet. You can see that it's got a mount that's very similar in shape, so it's going to slide right in here. <clears throat> First thing we'll do is connect the cable and you'll hear it click and latch. Just feed that cable back into the opening. <clears throat> and slide it in. There we go. So now we can grab our bracket and we have two nuts that'll thread onto the screws on the back as soon as we put that bracket over top of those studs <clears throat> so we'll do that a little bit later and right now we'll just show you how the tablet and the boat turns on all right let's walk through the startup of the boat now that the tablet has been installed so we'll turn on the boat's power and the charger powered up and started charging the tablet so the screen came on. And now we'll go ahead and open the Wake Switches app. And as soon as that loads, it connects to the Bluetooth module that controls the boat. And now we can go to any of the pages that the app has. <clears throat> so this is the MLS launch page. We've got our surf gate control, our power wedge control, on and off for all of the pumps. And we also have the engine control. Looking at the lights page, we've got our tower lights, nav, anchor, dash, interior, dock, swim, and night mode. So we can just press any of these and they'll turn on, press it again to turn off. And we've also got the switch page. That's got the heater control, bilge pump, blower, and on all of the pages we have the engine control in case you need to quickly start or stop your engine. So let's start the engine and get out on the water. This tablet is GPS enabled, so you can take advantage of any of the modern navigation apps that are available in the Google Play Store. It's also IP68 waterproof rated 
and uh, when you're out there on the water if you get any spray or rain on the tablet it's not going to cause any issues or be a concern. This tablet charges full time when the boat power is on through a dedicated charger. You don't have to keep it charged with, a, with another charger and find an outlet to be able to do that. It's fully dedicated. The Wake Switches tablet comes with a full satisfaction guarantee. If you have any issues whatsoever, we'll take care of it 100%. And in an unlikely event you're unhappy or unsatisfied, just return it for a refund.